Hey guys, I'm Phil with the Minuteman Moment, and right now you're probably asking yourself what you can do to save tens of millions of pistol braces from the ATF's clutches. And on today's episode, I'm gonna submit my comment to the ATF over its pistol brace rule. So this rule would ban about 40 million pistol braces, and there's gonna be two things to remember. First, submitting a comment to the ATF will take you less than a minute if you go through the GOA website we've taken out all the guesswork for you. And there's gonna be a link in the description below. I'm even gonna put a clock on the screen to show you how quick this is. And you can do this from your desktop or your phone. Second, after I submit my comment, I'm gonna talk about why you should submit GOA's pre-written comment, and if you like, include your own customized comment. Okay, let's get to it. Here's part one. GOA members already get our action alerts and have this link. But if you're not a GOA member, you can go to gunowners.org front slash stop Biden gun control. And there's gonna be a link in the description for that too. So let's get to it. You can see here that there's options to submit comments for the ATF pistol brace and for the 80% lower. But today we're really gonna be focused on the pistol brace ban. So what you wanna do is hit learn more. And so now that I've got you here, I wanna remind you that if you only submit the GOA letter and don't write your own, your submission still counts just like all the rest. More on that a little bit later. So when you're looking at the comment on the GOA website, the subject line is fine, there's no need to change that. And it's in the message body where you can customize your own comment if you choose to. So when you write your own comment, it will be submitted with the GOA comment. So the ATF will see both your comment and the GOA comment in one email. But if you choose to write your own, please be respectful. And the irony there is that an agency that wants to take your guns, using their guns, doesn't like potty language, but that's the reality. So nasty comments, harassment, submitting anonymously, and irrelevant information will disqualify your comment. It's a peddling. Also, using bots, fake email addresses, submitting multiple comments with duplicate email addresses, fake home addresses will also disqualify your comment. Ooh, you better believe that's a bad one. All right, let's start the clock and see how long this actually takes to fill out. All right, so the only information you actually need is your first name, your last name, your email, and your street address. and your city, your state, and your zip code. Then you're gonna hit send message. And that's it, you're done. How long was that? It takes more time to wait in line for a hot dog. It takes less time to do your part to save pistol braces than it takes to order ammo online. So let's go over some of the concerns people have when submitting form comments. The first thing to remember is that submitting a pre-written comment is useful and will not get disqualified. Submitting your own comment is also useful. Doing both is the best of both worlds. Submitting a Gun Owners of America comment will help bolster GOA's legal arguments when we sue to overturn the rule down the road. The administrative record will show elected representatives and the courts that the ATF disregarded thousands of certain common sense arguments. It emphasizes that the rulemaking was arbitrary. Using the GOA form letter will be counted just like any other comment. You won't get an individual response from the ATF, which is fine, no one does, but they will still respond with a comment regarding the submission, as well as note the number of times a comment with a similar argument was submitted. And there's a couple of good reasons to use the form letter we provide. The ATF likes to group comments for or against a proposed rule anyway. So, for instance, they will take all the comments that say the proposed rule is consistent with the National Firearms Act. Even if every one of the comments is unique, the ATF is still gonna batch them together. On the other hand, if the ATF gets 50,000 unique comments that say a proposed rule is a violation of the Second Amendment, they'll still batch those together. In other words, you don't get extra points for having a unique comment. The GOA form will get you to where you need to go as easily and effectively as possible. Second, using the pre-written form, like the one GOA provides, allows everyone who doesn't have the time to read an entire proposed rule, and some of these can be up to 70 pages or more, to still articulate a good argument. Third, 
The best of both worlds is to use the GOA Take Action tool to submit your comment along with a customizable message in the box labeled Message Body. That way, our core arguments get made thousands of times. So that's it. The time it took to submit my comment using the GOA tool was less than a minute. If you need to, replay the video and go along with me again. And that's it for this week. Make sure to watch all of our Minuteman Moment videos on YouTube and the Warrior Poet Society Network. And if you have any more questions, go ahead and hit the link in the description below. I'll see you later.